Hey everyone, it's Monica and I'm back with another video and in today's video um, it's slightly, not slightly, but totally different from what I used to film. I went in four weeks um, pregnant. I have my notes here so don't mind me because I did <clears throat> I did take some notes just so I don't forget like the symptoms because there are some that I experienced like before I found out I was um, pregnant but they were very like mild that I didn't really think any of it so let's do the uh, the pregnancy app okay so according to my pregnancy app it is I am four weeks and five days pregnant I did the pregnancy test um, on when was it sometime last week um, and so basically I missed my period first day second and then on the third day that's when I tested and sure enough it was positive I mean I'm pretty excited I mean nervous and excited this will be my second one so I want to go through my notes and okay so I just want to go through um, week three um, so this was before I found out I was pregnant, so I wanted to go through the symptoms. Okay, so um, I love spicy food like ever since like I was a kid. Um, but there was this week, which was week three of my pregnancy, that I was craving like extremely spicy food like it not normally the spice that I would go for like not normally the spice level that I would go for I mean and um, I didn't really think much of it then just because like I said I already love spicy food but thinking back like when I found out I was pregnant um, thinking back I'm like wow no wonder I was like super like I had that week where I just want spicy 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 like just like and like even though I was still I would crave sweets like here and there like I was more on like spicy food so now thinking back yeah that was definitely one of my symptoms another one <clears throat> also around this time that I was craving spicy food again week three um I had one day where I was just super, super exhausted. I was like, what in the world? Like, you know, I, I mean, nothing was different. Like, you know, nothing was different in terms of like what I did that day or what I did that week or the day before. I was like, why am I so tired? Um, so right at the right when that, like that day <clears throat> when I felt super, super tired, I kind of thought I was like, maybe I am pregnant I'm thinking but I'm thinking no maybe not because like frankly like Terry and I like we're not really we're not really trying trying but we're also not avoiding but it's like I just stopped taking birth control pills like last May so I was really hoping that if it does happen that it won't happen until like winter time or sometimes spring of next year like that's my thought because from um from what i heard um you know like when you get off the pill usually it takes some time before you um not conceive but to ovulate again um so i was just thinking that oh, maybe i'm not maybe it's just one of those days but i did have this like slight hint i'm like maybe i am but I don't know like I didn't really think of it that much because I knew from the period app that my period is coming next week so I didn't want to assume anything until then um, and then I also noticed that I was peeing more than usual um, I noticed like around the three week mark too that I would wake up like right in the middle of the night to go pee and that usually never happens because I hate doing that so what I would do I would just make sure that I don't drink a lot of water before I go to bed like I try to avoid it because I just hate getting up at like four or five in the morning just to use the bathroom very rare that that would happen so anyway I've been noticing that that for like maybe three four consecutive nights I would wake up around the same time to go pee and I'm like weird whatever but again I didn't really 
didn't really register. Um, and this is, I, I'm thinking this and it's not like, oh my god, like why are you so shocked? Like, um, because with Maya, with my first daughter, um, we were actually like trying to get pregnant and it took maybe like, um, like maybe four months and then we conceived and with this one we weren't really like trying so I thought that okay like maybe there was one time that I was actually ovulating but again because of the birth control I didn't think that it would happen that soon anyway um so now week four I'm going to talk about the symptoms of week four so that's when I found out I was pregnant three I was three days late I did a test and found out I was pregnant if you want to see that if you want to see that reaction video um the link will be right here and also um I had um symptoms of slight cramping which I didn't again I didn't really think of it that much because it's like getting your period, right? Like you have this like slight cramping going on. So I'm like, oh yeah. Um, I thought for sure that this was like my period. Like this was like maybe a couple of days before I tested. I was like, okay, I'm kind of feeling it. And then it was weird because um, on the day that I tested, I don't feel any cramping. Like I don't feel like cramping at all. I'm like, okay, like you're supposed to like feel cramping and all that because like this week is like period week, but I was like, oh, that's weird. Um, anyway, um, and then boobs slightly sore, and then slight moodiness. Again, like, you know when, like women, when we have like our period or we're, we're about to get our periods, like we can be slightly moody. Um, I'm not like that often, but here and there, yes. And then when I catch myself, I'm like, oh yeah, like, um, my period should be coming soon that's why i'm being like cranky and all that but yeah slight moodiness um and then i will show you guys um the bump right now that i have so that's week four so definitely not showing yet but it's it just looks like i just had like buffet either like buffet or like a really really nice dim sum meal and after that this is what it looks like <laughs> Okay, so that is my basically week three, week four symptoms. So I will keep updating you guys. Um, so I am filming this like currently like where I'm at in my pregnancy, but I won't actually be releasing this film until, so right now it's July, probably until September when we start telling people just because I think it's just safer that way, like Terry and I feel more comfortable telling people once we're at a stage where we're just entering second trimester or just, you know, like, God forbid, like, I don't miscarry or anything, but I guess that's just like the safest time to tell people. So that's when I'll be releasing um, this video, but I will keep filming like every week. And then once I reveal to the world that I am pregnant, then I will keep just like, um, updating these videos and uploading these videos. Anyway, if you guys have any questions for me, please do not hesitate. Um, comment on the comment section down below and I will surely get back to you. If there is anything that you'd like me to film that's related around my channel, which is like mainly food recipe and family and lifestyle, just go ahead and let me know and I'll try to do my best. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And yeah, that's it for now, guys. Bye.